This video will be a little tutorial to show you how you can turn your Microfreak with Firmware Update 5.0 into a fully fledged drum machine with all sorts of crazy beat mangling possibilities. So others on YouTube have already shown the basics and I want to show you how to go pro like this. Aha, you might say this is just a drum loop played back by the sampling engine and through the filter. But that's not what's happening. Instead, I have mapped single drum sounds from a drum loop across the keyboard. Like this. Two kicks. Two snares. Hi-hats. Notice how I'm using eight variations of the hi-hat to create a more realistic feel of the overall beat. And if you feel adventurous, you can try yourself at finger drumming like this. Of course, this takes a lot of practice and is really hard to do at full speed. So instead, we are using the step sequencer. And here are the steps that I programmed in to make this beat happen. Let's first listen to them one by one. So you can get an idea of the sequence. Let's now go back to full tempo 170 beats per minute. Now the advantage of this keyboard mapping is that you can get quickly all sorts of variations just from this 16 note sequence. Of course, you can also engage all sorts of other manipulations. Pitch it up, pitch it down, or pitch it anywhere in between. Alright, so this is already pretty neat, but we've been only using the regular sample engine. What about the granular engines? Of course, they can be used as well. For example, the scan grains for time stretching effects. Cool. Even more craziness awaits when you switch to the hit cranes. Alright, let's now see how we can achieve this on the Microfreak. And the main ingredient for that is the mod matrix together with the cycling envelope. So the first three settings on the mod matrix are only required to prevent the samples from being transposed up and down. We first map the pitch response to the keyboard to minus 100 and then two more user assignable slots that modulate the amount of the cycling envelope to the pitch. And here we have minus 100 and minus 66.6. To summarize, we need those three points in the lowest row of the mod matrix, where the points 2 and 3 actually influence how much the cycling envelope modulates the pitch. Now for the settings of the cycling envelope itself, it just needs to act as a constant voltage source, so to say, and therefore we just have to set the rise to zero, the fall time again to zero, and to sustain to the longest possible value. And of course we need to make sure that the amount is set to 100%. Here again a quick summary of those settings. The third user assignable slot actually needs to be mapped to the sample selection. Sample selection can be done with shift and type. And here you basically see which one of the samples loaded on the Microfreak will be mapped to the node C3, like this. So 
So starting with the kick on C3, I have assigned those 12 drum samples that make up my beat. One octave below them, I have another 12 drum samples. Sounds familiar, right? Those are single hits from the popular aim and break beat, and I'm going to explain later in the video how you can actually source those from the original breakbeat. Again, to summarize, use the third user assignable mod point to modulate with your keyboard the sample selection and make sure that the starting sample of your beat is mapped to C3. Now that you've seen how to create those beats, you might ask yourself, can I get a thick bass line on top of it, also from the microfeek? And yes, it's possible. You just have to use the high pass filter for that. Make sure to turn its resonance all the way up and then use the cutoff knob to change the wobble of the sub bass like this. It's amazing, isn't it? I just want to show you one additional trick if you want to go more extreme with those beats and you want to do something like square pusher or Venetian snares, then you just need your LFO to modulate the sample selection again. And it goes like this. this tune is fading out, I still have to keep my promise and tell you how you can source the single drum hits from popular breakbeats. This website here gives you all the information you need and also some code to download and I will make sure to include the links in the description of this video. See you next time!